Hey everybody, in today's video we're going to take a look at creating text within Bobcad. Uh, you'll find this under the Create 2D menu. Uh, there'll be an option for text. If we hit the arrow down, there's two options. There's text and fit text to a curve. Let's start with text. Uh, we'll left click on text. Uh, from here in the data entry window, we have some attributes we can adjust for your text. Uh, to begin with, Bobcad will allow you to use any true type font or open font that's installed on your computer. Uh, if you buy a font package, you can uh, just download those fonts into your Windows font folder, which is where we find those fonts from. Now within the, the dialog here, we can enter uh, text and characters. Uh, we can choose what font we're using. I'm using uh, one of the pre-installed fonts, the Bobcad default font. This is a great uh, centerline font and uh, very useful for notations and part numbers. Now, you do have a base point. You can make an adjustment to its location. If you know where that font needs to be located, you can type in that position. Uh, it may make more sense for you to drag it into position. If you move your, your mouse over the base point, it will change uh, from like a, a blue color to a gold color if you left click now as you drag your mouse the the text will come with it now you will notice that the construction geometry does come up so you can use this construction geometry to help you align uh, your text on the screen uh, you have the ability to adjust the height of the text uh, the ratio the angle a slant extra spacing uh, you can do bold italicized left center right justification uh, so lots of options for you here in order to get your text. Uh, now that we have some text on the screen, let's take a look at how we can use fit text to curve to change where our text is located. Uh, we'll come up to where it says text and we'll choose fit text to curve. Uh, from here, we can select the text that we want to fit to curve and then we can select the curve that we want it to fit to. Now we have some adjustments as far as distance from path. We can use a positive or negative number. Um, how it aligns to the path, whether it aligns at the end, the start, or the middle, uh, if we want to make an adjustment to its alignment as well. So you can see how we can take this text and uh, fit it to this curve and put it in location. All right. Uh, if we're done with our settings here, we can choose OK, and that will put the text along that curve. If we want to undo that and maybe choose a different location, we can hit Control and Z on our keyboard and that will undo the movement of the text. Uh, let's go ahead and select the text again and this time let's choose a different curve. Now you're not limited to a single curve, you can select the chain, but again I'm just showing you how you can align your text to a curve and then adjust some of its spacing. Is it at the start? Is it at the end? Is it at the middle? So we want to move it off this edge by whatever amount. Okay, after we've locked in our settings, we'll choose OK. If we want to undo, we can hit Control Z and undo. Okay, I'm going to do it one more time. We'll select our text. We're going to select this curve through this curve. And again, by adjusting whether it's at the start, the middle, or the end, you can move where that text is.